Okay, so three weeks ago, a mother and her son, a uh, 16-year-old, were shot in the head in their home. Where? Seattle. They were found by firemen after they were called to the house. The mother's jaw was dislocated, her neck broken. Both were shot in the head. Now, the fire started after they were dead, on purpose in the basement. Why do you say on purpose? There's turpentine. A lot of people have turpentine in their basement. No, but it, there were multiple points of origin or, or whatever. It was, it was splashed around. I don't know. I just read the report. You're the cop. The husband. It's always the husband. Where is he? Nobody knows. No, no. Look, listen. Now, get this. Bill Anderson. He's an acoustics professor from the University of Washington. At the time of the murders, Anderson was out with two other Husky science professors. They have this... Dork night out every six weeks. The two professors, the bartender, and a timestamp receipt account for Anderson at the time the fire was started. Now, I know he's probably not going to make the Forbes 500 list, but uh, he had no financial troubles or debt in life either. The life insurance policy on his wife wasn't worth killing her for. It. He hasn't even shown up to collect it. He got along with his kid. No fights. The neighbor says they never heard a peep out of them in 16 years. Now, a neighbor says she came out after she heard a shot and saw what looked like Bill Anderson. He took off. But no one takes the neighbor serious because she's some old lady zombied out on lithium. A mother and her son, both shot, point blank. No exit wounds, no bullet fragments. There's evidence of subsequent trauma by a sharp instrument. The gunman extracted the bullet from both the mother and the kid's head. Talking like a cop yourself now, Gary. A pocket protector science professor who's never owned a gun, taking shrapnel from his own wife and kid's head as the house is on fire? What's this to you? It's related to an estate case that I'm working on back in Chicago. Just related? But you still came all this way to tell me, out in the woods? You're a cop. You were a cop. I just figured it, you know, be a good story for your book. Plus, you, you do have investigative experience. I was with the troll my entire time in. Strictly Metro Tucks. Only reason why you didn't make detective is because you never applied. Is that your way of saying you um, somehow got access to my personal records? Uh, look, look, Jack. I, I just figured it would be something you'd be interested in as a good cop, Arthur. You know, kind of like some uh, in cold blood thing or whatever. You know, That's all, nothing more. Maybe you mentioned me in the dedication. I appreciate where you are coming from. But this, um, to take police in Seattle, I can find out who. Yeah, I did. Um, they said the same thing you did. It's a sad story, Gary. Too common. This Bill Anderson guy either kills himself in a week or gets caught in eight months with some waitress in pig knuckle hour. It always ends up the same. They have one life to live, and they can't help but blow it. Um, I better be getting back. It was good to see you, Jack. It really was. And that's not provisional.